Ah, too soon. Hang on, I need to run the intro first. <laughs> There we go, that's a bit better. Almost cocked that up straight away. Anyway, hello there everybody, Sam Straits here. Welcome back to the railway and welcome to another live stream. I hope you're all doing okay after last week. Uh, I'm not planning any uh, hallucinations today, so uh, fingers crossed we're all okay. However, if anything does happen, uh, please make your way calmly and clearly and slowly to the nearest exit or whatever, whatever you're supposed to say. Anyway, welcome everybody. It's lovely to see so many of you in the chat. Really, really nice to see you all. It is a little bit sad today because this is the final stream of the series, which is always a little bit sad. I absolutely love doing these. You can probably tell that. Um, and I, I, I will miss it, you know, because I miss you guys first and foremost, but I, I do miss, uh, you know, sitting here and doing live shows because they are a lot of fun. But obviously it's not all bad news because we've still got today's uh, little stream, which I'm hoping will be a lot of fun. Uh, obviously also I'm not going to be stopping live streams at all. I'm going to still do more in the future, so that's okay. And of course also today we're going to be doing the giveaway. And sure enough, old brisket here is uh, having his final day here at Sam's Trains HQ. He's going to be going out into the world today. Well, I guess tomorrow uh, when I post him first thing if possible. And also the uh, shunter truck is going to be uh, given away today as well. So uh, hopefully you uh, win if you've entered already. It isn't, it isn't too late to enter. You can still enter today if you'd like to. You've got about 45 minutes to still enter if you like. And of course you can do that with the super chat down into in the chat as a little dollar sign. Uh, you can make tiny little donations towards the channel and to everybody that has done that already oh talk of the devil az rail thank you very much evening sam hope this is a good stream again yes like that and uh, i hope so too i hope it's fun uh, so anyway to everybody that's already done that a massive massive thank you as always no matter how much you send oh shining time four thank you very very much h class and p class oh right uh, the bird coaches, either Southern Green. Okay, yeah, I could do that. Thank you very much, Shining Time 4. Uh, so as I was saying, no matter how much you donate, if it's a lot, uh, thank you so much. Obviously, don't make it a lot um, unless you're feeling very, very generous. But even, even if it's a tiny amount, it really does mean a lot uh, because it adds up, of course, and it means that I can afford to carry on with this channel, uh, which is what I love to do. So for that, thank you so, so much. And of course, this little giveaway is just to say thank you to you as well. Also, if you're feeling super generous, if you want to send in £5 or $5 or more, you can have your own request so you can pick any loco in my collection any rolling stock you like and i will run it live during the stream uh, today's your last chance to get that um you've got about 45 minutes more or less thank you uh, william hawks uh, 199 thank you very much for that uh, you're all entered of course for the giveaways so as i say yeah there's a little bit of time left to still get in on a request um and we're just going to keep going today until they're all done uh, but uh, you've only got about 30 minutes to get those in oh and jason biggs thank you very much hey we're getting a lot of gordon tonight aren't we uh, it seems to be gordon every time oh no i think we did get a ballman didn't we anyway thank you all very very much for those i will go through and thank everybody individually as as we go as well <laughs> Oh, Milo McQuillan, thank you very much, Milo. You're very kind. You've, you've donated quite a lot over this series. Again, a massive thank you to all of you guys. And I also want to say a massive thank you to everyone who donated last week. Now, I wasn't expecting any donations last week because of all the craziness that's going on. Oh, Paul S. Wow, thank you very, very much. Can you run a 56XX with a 6100 large prairie on a mixed freight? Keep up the hard work. Yes, I absolutely will, Paul. Thank you once again for that. So as I say, yeah, I wasn't expecting anybody to be donating last week, but people did, so I'm going to go through and thank everybody. Oh, Duckman, thank you very, very much. Another great series and a pleasure um, modding them. I know I have my member's request, but... Uh, oh, I didn't see that. It got cut off, didn't it? Um, where are we? Blimey, the chat is going crazy tonight. Thank you very much, everybody, for this. Oh, new member, welcome to the Duke of Rawthor... Raw, what was it? Rawson. There we go, that's a cool name. William Town, thank you very, very much to you again. I seem to be unable to find these things in the chat, but I will go through and read those. So, well, you don't have to remind me. I'll definitely remember. But uh, thank you to those. Anyway, for the folks that did donate last week, yes, I did get your entries to the competition, so that's absolutely fine. So, Colin Wikes, uh, Jacob Wilson, AZ Rail, William Town, Jack Clark, Milo McQuillan, The Ugly Duck Man, uh, Charles Curtis, not Giles Curtis, I don't know him, uh, Paul S and uh, Fled Dylan 8640, I think it was. Yeah, that's right. So, thank you all uh, very much for that. 
And uh, as I say, you've got your last chance to enter, and thank you to everybody who has already tonight. <laughs> and the Duke of Rawson, and there we go. That took a while to come through, blimey. Obviously, the whole system is uh, being uh, slowed down by all of this. But no, keep them coming. Thank you very, very much. Okay, the other thing you might notice is I have my brand new Sam Strings 2019 shirts all ready to go. Now, I'm quite excited about these because I think these, well... I don't want to blow my own trumpet too much, but I think they're just, maybe, you'll have to let me know what you think, but I think they're a touch more stylish, perhaps, than the than the old ones. Uh, you had to be pretty brave to go out in public with uh, a giant bullman on your chest. Uh, for those of you who did, thank you very, very much. Um, but, uh, yeah, for those who didn't want to, you've now got an alternative, if you like. And Northern Soul Express, yeah, I know, I, I don't know how we got through this series so quick. Uh, it is sad when we get to the end, but I guess it means we're closer to the next one. And Jack100, thank you so much, Jack. Uh, do appreciate that um, by the way I've got all of your names already in here so these are the names from the past stream uh, past streams I should say because there's been four past ones you see them all in there oh Daniel S thank you very very much so yeah this is my hat if you like it's actually a monstrous train absolutely monstrous look at this uh, this comes out this crusty old thing comes out every time I do a competition uh, it just it tickles me every time because it's just such a look, ludicrous looking thing um, but yeah it's the perfect thing to pull the names out of so everybody from past streams is inside there and then if I find my wodge I've got this this wad of paper held together with a paper clip. So everybody that donates today, I'm going to scramble to write down on these pieces of paper and put them in uh, during the break. So, yep, yeah, you've still got chance. And, uh, yep, yeah, the Santa's... Oh, it is called the Santa's Express, but not as we know it. The horrible square engine will uh, yield the winners towards the end of the stream. So, yeah, I thought, you'd, I thought you'd enjoy seeing that. Anyway, so, yeah, the new shirts. As I say, slightly more stylish than the old ones. Uh, they're also... Um, cheaper i knocked off a few quid on them um they're not any cheaper the shirts themselves they're the same good quality shirts uh, but i've just opted to earn a little bit less from them uh, basically because i'm always going on aren't i in my reviews and things about value for money and how we always get ripped off so I thought that would be a good way to put my money where my mouth is. Uh, there's all sorts of colours and there's also kid sizes as well. I know there was uh, some kids wanting some um, and they weren't able to because they were only adult sizes. So that's it. I've got uh, kid sizes and these uh, of these rather. And if you want to check them out at least, uh, there's a link below in the description or you might even get a banner with my shop stuff on there. Um, but yeah, so again, if, that's, if you want to support the channel in a different way, uh, then you absolutely can do. All right, so let's have a look. Uh, define yeeting, says Harry Todd Hunter. I, can't, I couldn't say that i couldn't say that harry i'm not absolutely sure uh will you be carrying on with the sam's trains servicing oh yeah that's a good point um yeah, I haven't done any because obviously not that many people watched it. But obviously, yeah, I know that some people like it. So yeah, I, I might do some more uh, at some point. Uh, normally when I do my servicing, it's been such a rush um, over these past few months that I tend to just do it off camera because it's faster that way. But uh, yes, time permitting, I'll certainly try and do a bit more of that. That's very true. Hi, Tony. Nice to see you. Mr. Steel, Yo Bread, Yeet Station 4. What is this? I get this every time. Someone explain if you know. Maybe it's inexplicable. I don't know. Andrea Murphy. Hey to you too. Hey, SuperDude24. The past tense of yeet is unfunny. Oh, okay. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to stop saying this just in case it's something rude. Uh, Tony C uh, Cowan says, "Hi Sam, please can I have a shout out?" Well, that was very polite. Yes, of course you can. Hey Karen Toft, nice to see you. Don't go mad, says William Town. I'm trying not to. Oh, I'm trying not to go mad last time, but uh, it happened. Unknown user six three six. That sounds a bit suspicious. Howdy partner. Sorry, can't give much love the stream. Hey, I mean I appreciate anything. By the way, if you're just here to watch and you've never donated, that is more than enough support for me. Uh, uh, just you coming here to watch really does mean a lot so to feet please don't feel pressured into donating um i just like having you here basically but uh, whatever 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 floats your boat i'm up for that so thank you very much uh bennett stevens there we go william town yeet <laughs> sup sam sup aj finley jr nice to see you. oh he's a sir now is he sir aj finley jr mm -hmm. well you've had you've uh, you've been knighted apparently that's pretty good and Mark Corner is here, by the way. Mark told me um, he wasn't going to be here in the stream, our mod. He might have to go later on, so I don't know, but uh, I was going to say something a bit later on. But since he's here, I can't do it. Uh, Wooden Train Productions. Well, hello there. Hello to you too. Uh, the Meme Tank Engine 1945. I wonder what that involves. I'd like to see some Tank Engine memes. And William Hawke says, I did it. Oh, and there he is. He's become a member. Welcome, William Hawkes. Nice to see you. In fact, I put up a behind-the-scenes video uh, the, uh, the other week for the members, so if you want to check that out, you can. It's a very interesting video, which shows you how I clean my locomotives. 
Unikit Cat, oh, I've not heard from you for ages. Oh, no request, just a thank you for the live streams. Hey, that's really, really kind of you. Well, I'll tell you what, you can have your entry for old Brisket, as you can see. And you get a certificate, by the way, with Brisket if you win him. So there we go, he's number four of ten. And thank you very much for that, Unikit Cat. Blimey, they're coming through today. Thank you all so much. Uh, Rob Arnold, thank you very much. Can I have Tornado with a nice rake of first class coaches as my birthday present on the real train yesterday? It was, oh man, I saw something sad there. Uh, as my birthday present on the real train yesterday was cancelled due to lack of staff. Oh, that's really sad. Well, happy birthday uh, for, ye for yesterday, Rob. I'm really sorry to hear about that. Uh, I hope you can reconvene and uh, do it another time. Uh, that, would, uh, that would be good. Yeah, sorry about that. That really is bad luck, isn't it? How, I wonder how often they cancel trains due to low staff. Not very often, as far as I could tell. So for it to happen on your birthday is pretty bad luck. Um, either way. All right, we've got an explanation. Harry Todd Hunter. It's okay, Sam. Yeet isn't a rude word. It's just... Something you shout when you throw something. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think I've heard of that before. Fair enough, fair enough. I think we're safe then. I think we are safe. All right, so what else did I want to do? Okay, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. yeah, shout-outs. I did promise some shout-outs. So, Ishan's Trains. Uh, he, I think he's had one already. Um, but in celebration of me finally pronouncing his name correctly, or at least what I think is correctly, he's asked for a shout-out. So there you go. It was also Thomas Hepton from Leeds. Uh, I think his mother got in touch. So, uh, Thomas Hepton, if you're watching, thank you very much for the support uh, from your viewings and everything and there's a shout out for you hope you like that also uh, it was Eben does gaming and more he was in the chat he thought I'd missed him but in fact rather than ignoring him I was writing his name down to give him a shout out so there we go hope you saw that and also that GWR engine too oh maybe it was you that I was uh, that you thought I was ignoring but no um, how long before another YouTuber comes in and steals the attention says Mark I don't mind anybody's welcome in here you know that shout out please says hunters double o gauge <laughs> throws the castle class, says Mangle. Come on, we don't throw locos up here, unless it's the Helgen Tango. I might be, I might, if, with, with a decent super chat, I might be uh, willing to throw that or drop it, I don't know. Uh, although it would have to be pretty substantial. Do you have a Gmail account? Uh, yes, you, you do. You have to have a Gmail account to have uh, YouTube, but uh, I don't know what it is, basically. <laughs> I don't tend to use it very much. Hmm. And Lindsay Holmes says shout out, please. So there you go. Shout out to you. Okay, so let's get on then with some running, shall we? Let's get some engines going. So I will show you what is set up down at the front. So some really, really cool requests this time. So let's have a look. So it was Fled Dylan 8640 on the outside line there. You can see he wanted to see Rosie and Emily, I presume in a double header. So I've done that with some uh, nice ex LNER coaches. Then the Ugly Duck Man, nasty as he was. He wanted to see me scramble and get the, get the 9F with the Ocean of Ocean Wagons. But I outsmarted him because I, uh, I set it up before the stream, didn't I? So we're all sorted on that. But there we go, Ugly Duck Man, that's for your membership. Thank you very much for the support. And also to Trainfan28 now. I like this one. Can you see this on the inside line? Look at that. Three of my favourite engines, really. So we've got the H-Class at the front, and that one had to go at the front because it's got no front coupling, although I could put one on, I guess. Uh, behind it, we have the Hornby Terrier. A little bit of an odd one out. It's a shame I've not got an SECR Terrier at the moment. That would have made it perfect. Um, but no, it's a BR Black one, but it still looks lovely, I think. And then at the back, of course, the Hatton's P-Class. Uh, which is just a gorgeous model in itself as well. So, let's get some of these going then, shall we? Let's get Emily and Rosie going first. With Emily at the front, of course, because she's... Uh, well, I would say big and strong, but in model form, she's not really that strong. But there we go. Two girls from Sodor getting on really well together, so that's pretty cool. The Ugly Duck Man, the 9F with the Ocean of Ocean Wagons. I've managed to avoid scrambling to get it all together for now. However, I will have to take them off at some point to do the rest of the request. So uh, maybe the scrambling isn't uh, completely out of the window. And then we have, oh, going the wrong way, we have the H-Class, the Terrier, and the P-Class. And there is a slight problem because the H-Class seems to run really, really slow, and the other two engines actually run quite fast. So we've got uh, both of the smaller tank engines shoving them up the behind. Uh, Dalton Dunn donated. Thank you very, very much. Fairly new to your channel, and I love it. Thank you. Well, thank you very much to you, Dalton. That's really kind of you, and welcome. Welcome. I hope you enjoy what I've got to show you. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's have a look, because I'm a bit concerned about this. No, they seem to be on the track still. That's good. Right, I'm going to keep an eye on that triple header. Normally, I don't sort of do triple headers, because they're, they're too prone to having accidents and things. But I thought three SECR locos, well, two and, and a BR one, how can I not? How can I resist it? And the answer was I couldn't resist it, so I've done it. Um, if it all derails, I guess, uh, well, I'll get what's coming to me then, won't I? But uh, it's worth a try, I thought. 
Oops, we've just missed the uh, the two Sodor ladies. Let's try and get a look at those, shall we? Right. Let's see. I usually do a lunch train play every time I play with my trains. Oh, okay. You call it a lunch train, do you? I like the idea of that. Hey, if it involves lunch, I'll be up for it. Lego Master 365, thank you very, very much for that. Uh, that's very, very good of you, and you will be entered into the, uh, the giveaway too. Uh, Lego Master 365, I think I saw some of your videos recently, didn't I? I'm sure the name rings a bell. Yeah, I think I did. I was, I think I was watching some of your videos. I do watch people's videos if they, if they ask me to. Oh, Custard Time Lord, thank you very, very much. He says, keep up the great work, Sam. You're a great YouTuber, and I admire you a lot. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Uh, I'd love to see the BR Black Crab double head with a Q1. Oh, that's a very good idea. We'll certainly do that. And there we go. You got yourself on screen there <laughs> with Bullman too, our favourite. There we are. Hello. What do you reckon then? Do you like the new shirts? I'm quite pleased with this. I did design it on Photoshop, um, just uh, just to get it in there, you know. Oh, and by the way, I don't think I've ever mentioned this before, but uh, you see this uh, 9F here. Well, uh, as I say, I don't think I've mentioned this, but I did actually drive one in real life, and that's the one. I had it uh, customised by the model centre. So, yeah, if anyone asks for a 9F, that's normally the one I show. <laughs> So there we go, that's a good long running session. I think we'll draw it to a close now because we've got some more requests to do later on. So stay tuned for those. And to everybody who submitted these over the past few weeks, thank you very much. As always, I love running requests. It's just so cool to uh, see what other people think up. Um, can't remember whether I've done these before. I'm pretty sure the 9F has been with the Ocean Wagons before, maybe. Uh, I would imagine that uh, Rosie and Emily have gone together. And I've just heard another whistle. Oh, it was William Town again, blimey. Oh, okay, he said earlier you wanted to see a Castle Class pull, a Great Western, and, oh, yes, and a BR Western region coaches, please. Oh, you didn't have to send it again, William, but thank you very, very much. That's very good of you. No, I would have seen it. I'm going to go through later on and, uh, and catch up with the ones I missed. Um, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. But thank you, thank you for that, and yes, I will certainly do that. No doubt, no doubt. Hey, we've got, I've got my work cut out for me today, but uh, that's fine, that's fine, we'll do that. While we wait for the 9F, oh, it's nearly here anyway, I'll start taking these off uh, so that when we get on to the next lot, we'll, uh, we'll have a bit less to do. Although I might just have a slightly longer break and uh, take some off. But uh, I reckon with the way it's going, we'll have to do some before the break. Oh man, this is where I start tripping over things and uh, knocking things off the track because I'm going too fast. But we'll try not to, we'll try not to. All right then, so did you like that? I did like those. Uh, it's nice to see some Sodor engines again as well. I've got some more of those uh, to show in videos quite soon, so that ought to be quite good. Don Wibbly, hello to you too. Hunter's cool, says Mr. Steal Your Bread. All right, well, whatever that means, that's fair enough. Uh, shout out please, Sam, says Henry Percy Fan 36 uh, Bennett Stevens says, yes, I love doing a triple header. Yeah, me too. It's a bit stressful, triple headers, but uh, when they work, they certainly, they certainly are good. I do like those. Uh, did you get my mail, says Gallium Gamer. Um, I have got a couple of bits of mail, uh, only uh, two or three, I think, for today. Um, but uh, if it doesn't come uh, in time for this stream, which obviously it hasn't, um, then I will I'll hold it and uh, do it next time. Next time I do a series of streams, of course. Um, but, but, uh, are you thinking of going to the SVR anytime soon? Well, not anytime soon, but uh, it does look like a great place. And uh, yeah, I would too. I would to do that at some point. I would love to, rather. Uh, Don Wibbly, how's everyone doing? Well, I'm doing okay. Everybody else, uh, let Dom know how you are. I think we're all doing okay. I can't see anybody in distress, which is good. That's not what you really want. Anyway, so a couple of weeks ago, I showed you in the stream a few models that I was quite excited about reviewing and things. And uh, people um, said they quite enjoyed that, so I thought I would do that again. And I've just uh, stammered because uh, it's not just models that I wanted to show you. Now, you have to understand something, right? I get excited about silly things. Okay, and this is one of them. So, I found these on eBay, really, really cheap from China. Uh, I think they're about a pound each or something, really crazy like that. Uh, but basically, oh, Gareth Waite, thank you very much. Hi Sam, could you run the Grey P class and the N7 with a mix of wagons and coaches? How's your weekend been? Are you going to do more maintenance videos? They're very helpful, and I just missed the... the they're very helpful indeed. Cheers, fella. Uh, well, thank you, first of all, for that. That's really, really kind of you. Um, what was the first question? Look at this bad memory. Uh, yes, I can run those for you. That's absolutely fine. Uh, my weekend has been very good. Thank you very much. Uh, always a good weekend. I do like the weekend, especially when it's nice weather. And yes, I will try and do some more maintenance videos. If there's anything in particular um, that you'd like to see serviced, I can try and do that. Anyway, are you ready then for my bargains? So, 
I wanted to get a device, I didn't want to spend hundreds of pounds, so this is good because it only cost me two for them both. Uh, I wanted to get a device to measure the pulling power of uh, locomotives and things. So I've not seen one of these for about 10 years since I was in school, but it is this, it's a Newton meter. <laughs> I think that's what it's called, I don't know, but this is a 10 Newton one. So you just lie this on the track and this hooks under the coupling and you turn the loco on and it pulls this and it shows you how many Newtons this, uh, the loco can haul. Now it turns out that most locos can only haul between zero and one Newtons, and so this goes up to 10, so we're, we're not using the full scale really. So it's difficult to tell, so I thought, drat. Uh, so anyway, I found a one Newton scale, which is a lot better, so this does zero to one, and this one, as you can see, is way easier to pull. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to start in my reviews, I'm going to start telling you exactly how much these locos can pull. And uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, I think the most powerful loco I've measured so far is the V-Trains Class 37 and it got up to 2 or 3 Newtons I think. Uh, which isn't, um, doesn't sound like an awful lot but uh, you know that's enough to haul a whole room full of coaches. But uh, yeah I thought, I thought you'd like seeing that anyway. And uh, yeah look them up, Newton meters, 10 Newtons or 1 Newton on eBay from China, about a quid each. I can't remember exactly how much they cost but uh, they were very very cheap and they seem to work as long as you're careful with them. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show you is something I've not reviewed yet, but I'm going to review it soon. It is this. There we go. I wonder if anyone recognises that. So that's a Southern Railway a Queen Mary brake van by Backman in Southern Railway Brown. I uh, haven't got many uh, Southern brakes, and I certainly haven't got any brakes at all like this. It's absolutely huge. Can you see in there? Massive articulated brake van. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting that out. And the box itself is super heavy, so that is crazy. So yeah, I hope you like that. If there's any Queen Mary brake van fans, uh, let me know down in the chat. That would be cool to hear from you. Here's another one that I have seen before, but I'm feeling... I'm feeling that I'm about ready to review this now. I'm getting in the mood for it. So it is the Model Rail Shuntinel. Uh, Shuntinel. Blimey, I've invented a new term. Yeah, I think we ought to call it a Shuntinel from now on. What do you reckon? No, it's a Sentinel. Now, we've looked at Sentinels before, but uh, diesel ones, I think. I don't think we've ever looked at a steam one before. So, yeah. You wouldn't believe that this was a steam loco, would you? But it is. Let's try and give you... I don't want to give you too much of a close-up. Because <laughs> it will spoil the review. Right, can we get focused? I apologise for this. There we go. Look at that. What a tank engine. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, would you? Anyway, it's reflecting quite a bit, but that's good. So you won't see it properly until my review, or unless you want to look up some others. Um, but uh, yeah, very cool. Model Rail Sentinel. Looking forward to that. Uh, whatever it's like, it's certainly unusual, so it gets a thumbs up from me. And then finally, it's a bit of a teaser. I'll tell you what, I'm a bit mean for showing this, because it, it's uh, not clear at all what this is. There is a clue around this particular stream, if you want to know, but it's a Helgen diesel, and that's all I'm going to tell you. Uh, but again, I feel like I'm about ready now to uh, get this out and review it. So there we go. Not telling you what that one is, uh, but as I say, if you do a bit of digging, I'm sure you can find out. So there we go. Oh, and there's a there's also another artifact I wanted to show you, <laughs> left over from last week, and it is it's this this monstrosity. So this is a replica of the uh, Oxford N7 <laughs> smoke box door, uh, and it is sort of fully detailed with uh, with a smoke box door handle and whatnot. And one of these thingies broke off during the filming unfortunately but yeah I thought I would show you that it's uh, based off a, a full mask like that and I guess I will put it on although people will think I've lost my mind if they log in at the wrong moment so yeah you have to sort of put your head forwards if you're going to wear it properly and uh, goodness only knows what I'm going to do with it now because uh, it was literally just for the April Fool's thing um, goodness knows what was going through my head when I decided to make that but I thought as a bit of an odd prop I might as well show it to you so if anyone was wondering what it was Yep, that's it. It's just uh, photoshopped parts um, adorned with plastic detail. And it was fun to make, I guess. It was a fun project. I wouldn't recommend it because uh, you can't see when you've got it on and uh, it makes your, your head hold at a, a strange angle. Uh, but it was certainly all right for what I wanted it for. So, uh, yes, there we go. There we go, that's, uh, that's a bit of oddness in the stream if anybody wants that. Castle Junction frying pan. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a frying pan. Although it's made of cardboard, so you wouldn't want to cook your sausages on it or anything like that. Is a Helgen Class 58, I think, says I like transport. Ooh, good guess, good guess. Um, I won't say yay or nay to that, I won't say anything. Giveaway, says Don Wibbly. Yep, the giveaway is coming soon. Um, yeah, about quarter to is the giveaway going to end, so we've still got a little while to enter yet. Uh, Jackamus Prime 50 says O gauge. You mean the mask? Well, I guess it's a little larger than O gauge. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess if I uh, wanted to build the full size thing or like a, I don't know, well, I don't know what scale it would be. I don't know what scale it is. But if I wanted to build a big one, I've uh, made a start, haven't I? I've got the smoke box door. 
although I wouldn't think it would uh, do the job of a smoke box door very well. Uh, hey, it's an N7, but it does not have a firebox. <laughs> yes, it's just the door, just the door. Shout out, says Jaden Coma. There you go. I've uh, I've seen Jaden in the chat quite a while ago, so there you go. Glad I gave you that. Uh, how can you tell the number of a locomotive? Uh, normally, it's just written on the loco. Um, some locos don't have it written on them. I suppose some have it on the tender, but most of them just have it on the side of the cab or the smoke box door. Uh, and the uh, diesels are the same. They tend to just have it written on the side. So, yeah, you can normally find a number. Mm. Okay, cool. So let's do some Wall of Fame stuff then. I have got some Wall of Fame bits to show. So thank you very much to everybody who sent in something for the Wall of Fame. As I say, I'm really struggling now. You can see they're starting to spread across the wall. The, the wall is filling up. Um, I think we might have to start another Wall of Fame on, uh, on this side. Um, but we've, we've still got perhaps, I don't know, a few more streams still to go on the current wall. But uh, yeah, I'm, I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's completely filled, that wall. And by the way, it goes right up to the ceiling as well, way above the shot. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty crazy that uh, every single person um, that has sent one in has got it printed out. And it sometimes makes you wonder how much ink and paper I've used. <laughs> but uh, no, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. If you're going to waste paper and ink, I think that's the way to do it. Uh, at least people get to see themselves. Anyway, so Aaron sent in this. It only came this morning, but I thought, you know what, it's the last stream, so I'll, I'll do it for you today. So he's got a very cool LBSC um, 040. Oops, wrong button. There it is. Never seen that before, or maybe I have. It looks a little bit like an E2, doesn't it? But uh, squashed <laughs> and uh, had some wheels pulled out. So that's very cool. Uh, we have this one. Now, this one is from SG Kingley. This was his April Fools. Uh, I have no idea what's going on with it. It looks like uh, a plane has been modified to <laughs> carry tank engines. So rather than say anything, I will just show it. And Milo McQuillan, thank you very much. I do love it when my face appears on screen like that. Yes, uh, that's not true. Uh, Lay sent in this, and he also, um, well, he accompanied this photo with uh, an explanation as to how to pronounce his name. Uh, I don't know how I would have said it usually, probably Lie or something, but it's Lay, apparently. So there we go. That is Lay's photo with the Flying Scotsman and, uh, I don't know, what's that, Class 40-something? Not absolutely sure. That's probably wrong. Let me know if it is. Uh, Bailey sent in this. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to see what this is, but uh, there it is anyway. Tell you what, let's go. Let's go up close and try and show it to you. Maybe a princess in the background there. Um, hmm. Anyway, it's fun. It's good. It's a good picture because it makes you look at it and try and wonder uh, what it is. So that's good. That's that's it's a good thing. At least it catches the eye and makes you look at it for a long while. Uh, Donald Nine and Douglas Ten sent in this picture of Donald and Douglas. In fact, I wonder if that was nicked from the internet. Maybe that's a little bit naughty. Should have checked really. But uh, either way, that's it. Thank you for that. And also Ethan A sent in this. It uh, looks like an LMS Jinty or something along those lines. So thank you for that. It's a lovely photo. Uh, definitely a lovely looking model as well. So that's that. I've also got a couple of letters to open. I thought I would uh, open a few, get get some of these out of the way. So this was uh, well, it's got my PO box address on it, so <laughs> I won't read that. Um, but uh, let's have a look. So oh, it's very nicely typed. And there's some there's some uh, secret gubbins in here, so we'll have a look at that. But yeah, it's uh, properly typed up. It's the kind of letter you'd expect to get from uh, a bank or something. Okay, so let's have a look. He says, hi Sam, I hope this letter finds you well. First of all, I would like to say thanks for reading out my previous letter. Oh, you've sent one. Oh, okay. Who's this from? Oh, Richard Grigg. Yes, I do. I remember. I've got one of your pictures up on the wall, I think. Uh, last series of streams, it was much appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed the photos. Yes, I did. Uh, I was very pleased to see one of them. Um... Made it onto the wall of the fame. Yes, it did. And I saw one on your Instagram post. Oh, cool. Oh, yes, I remember the one. Cool. Uh, okay. Okay, he says uh, of your April Fool stream, which was, by the way, absolutely hilarious. It's not often that I get abdominal cramps from laughing too much. Blimey, I didn't realise anybody actually found it funny, but uh, no, I'm glad you did. Okay, so with this second letter, I've enclosed a flyer for the Swansea Railway Modellers Group forthcoming model railway show later this year. I realise Swansea is quite a long trek uh, from your neck of the woods, but it's worth the journey to see the large variety of layouts on the show. All right, he's got a website at www.srmg.org.uk, so check that out if you're interested in going to see that. They've got Facebook, Twitter, Flickr and Instagram, and uh, there are links apparently at the bottom of the phone uh, of the homepage. All oh, right, very nice. So let's have a quick look at these flyers then, and I'll show you. And then if anybody wants to go, oh, okay, cool. You can uh, use this to see. So it's on the 21st and 22nd of September, 10 till 5. 
And let's have a look at the picture. There we go. So yes, thank you very, very much for that. And uh, yeah, I'll certainly look into it. And uh, if I can get down, then I will do. But yes, so Richard Grigg, thank you once again for that. Uh, and I'm glad you enjoyed the April Fools. <laughs> Oops. Right, let's put that out of the way. So there's another one. I got another one here. Uh, also to Sam Strains. I mean, I wouldn't be showing them if they weren't to Sam Strains. I wouldn't show you any, uh, I don't know, <laughs> bills or anything. Oh, this is cool. So he says, I'm Samuel but people call me Sam, but it looks like he's rubbed that out. I am 10, I am Percy the Small Green Saddle Tank. Oh, that's awesome. Right, let's get a close-up on this, if we can. It's a big sheet, though, so I might struggle to get it all in. Oh, move out the way, Mug. There we go. So there's, I think that must be Percy. <laughs> Is it? Let's try and get this in focus. All right. And then we've got a few more engines. So I don't know whether those are Percy or whether one of them's him or one of them's me, maybe. But either way, that's very cool. I think that deserves to go on the Wall of Fame, doesn't it? I think so. Let's try and show it all in one go. There we go. Oh, a bit, bit uh, overexposed there. But either way, thank you very much for that. And if your name really is Sam, then uh, thank you for that. You did a really good job. Your handwriting is better than mine. And your drawing skills are much better than mine, too. So well done with that. And thank you once again for that. So there we go. All right, cool. So, sh what, what shall we do next then? Shall I get on to some more of these requests? Great drawing, says Castle Junction. Yes, it was a good drawing. Thank you very much for sending that. Right, okay, shall we do this then? Right. So what I'll do is I'll go through and thank all of my uh, super chatties to start with. Come on, hurry up and load. There we go. Right, so we'll go through everybody to start with because obviously there was a period when it all went so, so fast that I couldn't catch up. So we will do that. So, April 7th. So, here we go. Here's the master list. Are you ready? So, it's Shining Time 4, AZ Rail, The Ugly Duck Man, Paul S, Jason Biggs, William Hawks, Milo McQuillan, William Town, Northern Soul Express, Jack 100, Daniel S, The Unknown User 636. That is a very mysterious name. Uni Kit Kat, Ron Arnold, Dalton Dunn, Lego Master 365, Custard Time Lord, William Town, Gareth Waite, and Milo McQuillan. So, thank you all very, very much. You're all entered for the competition, of course. Right, so let's get some of these requests. Where's my pen? Phew, here we go. Right. So, Shining Time 4 was the first, I think. So, he wants... Oh, this is quite good. We've got the H class and P class um, hauling the, well, Southern coaches. I haven't got birdcage coaches, unfortunately, but uh, I've got some Southern coaches, so I can certainly do that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, could you do... Oh, so the Ugly Duck Man, I think this is the one I missed. So, another great series and a pleasure modding them. Oh, thank you, by the way, for your modding. And thank you to MDH Games as well, Mark Corner. Thank you for your mod support. I do I do always appreciate that, of course. Okay, so could you please run out, run the BR Blue King? Yes, I certainly can. With Pullmans. Oh, yes. That's a request after my own heart, definitely. Uh, so that's Duck Man. Yes, or... Uh, Ducky Kentucky or whatever it was <laughs> that Mark called him earlier. I definitely enjoyed that. Uh, okay, so Paul S. S. And thank you so much for that, Paul. That is really, really very generous of you. Uh, wanted to see the 5600, or 56XX, as he's put, with the large prairie and mixed freight. Yes, we can definitely get that done for you. Right, let's head down to the front then, shall we? And uh, let's try and get these set up. All right, so... I've done a silly thing there, haven't I? Because I've gone and taken off a couple of the locos we needed. Um, but we did get asked for Southern Coaches, so the uh, existing ones can come off. There we are. There we go. I'll put those to one side, just in case anybody else wants those. And it was the P-Class and the H-Class, I think it was. So let's bring these back. Blimey, these have been popular today. <laughs> it's been ages since I've run uh, the H-Class, I think. I can't remember the last time I showed that in a video or a stream. But uh, no, it's gorgeous, isn't it? So definitely no complaints there. And I think it was Southern Coaches. Uh, well, he said bird cages, but uh, sadly I don't have any of those. Uh, so it will have to be Southern Coaches, but I always tend to run them with Southern Coaches and they seem to look all right. Oh, I tell you what, shall I get my new Southern Coaches? The uh, the ones that I showed in the, in the first ever stream of the series. Ah. Oh. That's quite a nice cyclical way of doing things, isn't it, actually? All right. Sorry, I've just had to sort of wriggle around the camera and everything. But I've got them. So there we go. There's no higher honour, by the way, than these. These are my best coaches. <laughs> but they're, they're actually covered by uh, these two, probably my best locos as well. So, uh, yeah, that's good. That's a good combination. All right. So, yeah, Southern Coaches, I do like those very much. Um, 
nice and uh, actually they're a little bit difficult to put on the track and uh, I've just heard Bullman yell so I'll just pop these on and we'll go and have a look what Bullman wanted but thank you thank you whoever it was <laughs> let's go and see da, 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 da. right what was it where's my iPad gone <laughs> Okay, it was Charles Curtis. Oh, thank you very much, Charles. He says, thank you for the great stream. We're all looking forward to the next series. Thank you very much, Charles, and thank you for your support as well. It really is very good of you. And again, all of these folks um, that keep donating, thank you so much. As I say, it means that I can keep doing what I love and uh, I can keep uh, putting out these videos. So yeah, it really does. It means a lot. Right, so there we go. That was Shining Time 4 sorted. We now have the Duckman who wanted to see the BR Blue King class and some Pullmans, so we will do that. In fact, what I might do is I'll probably do that on uh, the outside line where Rosie and Emily are, because I think the other request was for some mixed freight, wasn't it? So the ocean wagons can form part of that mixed freight, and that might save a bit of time. So there we go. Thank you very much, Emily, for your support and your, uh, I guess, service today. There we go. And uh, I'll, same to you, Rosie. Thank you for that. Let's get these coaches out of the way then. And I'll go and grab some Pullmans. And uh, I'll see if I can hunt down my BR Blue King class. Now, that one really has been a long while, hasn't it? It's been ages since I've run the, uh, the BR Blue King. Uh, but again, it's absolutely beautiful. So we will certainly... I don't think anyone will be upset to see that coming back to run again. So, yes. Just got to find it first. <laughs> uh, oh, no. I can see it. I've spotted it. I've spotted it. It's all okay. All right. So we'll do the Pullmans first then. So I've got four as my normal nominal number of coaches. So there we go. Two. Yeah, this is going to look awesome. I just love BR Blue Locos and Pullman coaches. I don't know why, because, I mean, they don't really match, do they? But they always seem to look great together. So, yes, I, I do like doing that. Okay. Come on then, BR Blue King class. I forget which one it is even. I think it's a king of some sort. Yeah, it's King George the uh, sixth, I think it is. Okay, there we go. Make sure this one still works. Now, this this King George did have a bit of a, a motor trouble at one point, and if I remember correctly, I had to completely dismantle the motor and uh, strip it down and clean it and fix it. And I think in the end, it, it worked a lot better. But uh, yeah, there was a problem. So let's see if it still works today. Oh yes, looks like it's going to. Yeah, there's no problem there, is there? Yeah, no, that's good. Right, we'll just get out that, uh, sorry, we'll just get that out of the way. I think I'm a bit too overexcited now, seeing that BR Blue. It is gorgeous, though. And then finally, it was the 56XX and the Large Prairie with mixed freight. Okay, well, we've got a lot of uh, ocean wagons there to haul, so that's pretty good. Uh, but, of course, we need to make it a little bit more mixed than that, so there we go. Anyway, so I've found the 5600. I just need to find the large prairie now. There we are. I've got it. And, well, quite unusually, both of these engines have got front couplings, so it doesn't matter which goes at the front, but I'm going to put this one at the front because it's uh, so fast. So that's the large prairie. I did do a sort of uh, vintage review on this not too long ago, if you want to check that out. And then, of course, there we have the uh, 5600. Ooh, who was that? Let's go and have a run. Thank you, whoever it was, if I don't get there in time. It was the Duke of Rawsome. Oh, thank you very much, Duke of Rawsome. And that's a very Rawsome nickname, if I, if I do say so. <laughs> but no, thank you for the support. Thank you for that. And uh, again, it's nice to, it's nice to hear from uh, new members as well. I don't think I've... Uh, well, maybe you have sent comments before, actually. The name does ring a bell. Hmm. Let me know. Let me know if this is your first stream or not. I can't actually remember. It's difficult to keep track of everybody. I try to. Right. We've got the bread vans back, folks. Here we go. I grabbed the first thing I saw, and it's the bread vans, I guess, from uh, last week. Uh, so it's that odd situation where we've got loads of wagons designed for coal and ore and that sort of thing. And then we've got some nice old white bread in the front. So there we go. You can't get, a bit, you can't get much more unusual than that, can you? And there we go, they seem to work fine together. So we'll keep that nice and slow if possible, because it is a freight train, of course, so a bit slower than that, I think. Uh, here we go again then with the H-Class and the P-Class, wrong way again. I think the inside line's cursed today, because everything goes the wrong way. Although, of course, it is my fault. There's no sense in trying to blame it on something else. <laughs> right, let's see how these get on then. Hopefully, we'll... Uh, I'll tell you what, let's try it today and not have any derailments. I know that's an insane thing to try and achieve 
but uh, let's try it. Let's try it. Look at that. That was a nice. That was a nice uh, sight, wasn't it? The uh, two great westerns. Oh yes, absolutely love that. And we've also got the uh, SECR double headers. Just a touch too late there, wasn't I? I just missed them. But uh, no, they do look gorgeous together, especially with my uh, pride Southern coaches. They. Uh, you're definitely getting uh, an honour to see those run today, that's for sure. Hello. There we go. Blimey, that is quite a big old train now that those Great Western engines are hauling, isn't it? Oh, you will... I do not believe it. What have I just said about trying not to have a derailment? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what. There's a good chance it will fix itself. So, if it does... I will not consider that a derailment. I will pretend that I've not seen it. But all will be answered here. Okay, no, that's very much a derailment. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the amount of irony on this railway is insane. Right, let's fix this, and I'll try and fix it in a way that doesn't cover up the camera. And I've got to be quick as well, because the inside line is uh, a bit vulnerable at the moment, with me in the way. Right, honestly, what on earth happened there? I don't know. Right. Come on, we can't spill the bread all over the track. Right. Try again. Take two. Shall we have one more lap just to see if we can actually get around? I suppose it's the weight of the ocean wagons. Thinking about it, those bread vans are quite light. There's not a lot of weight behind them, so I guess it's quite easy for them to come off the track with such a load behind them, but still. They could have at least tried to stay on the track for a bit, surely. Yes, Franco RA says, accident. <laughs> Break, broke. People like it, don't they, when I have an accident? I mean, uh, I would say I would stage a few for you, but uh, I don't need to. I don't need to. They seem to happen whether I want them to happen or not. Jaden Coma, epic fail. Yes, it was. Again, this is this is the problem with uh, throwing trains together quite hurriedly. Uh, I didn't have a chance to think it through. Whoa, I saw that. That went a wobble, didn't it, that front one? It's that front van. It's uh, misbehaving. Right, let's see if we can get these to cross over, shall we? It's going to happen again, I bet you money. Shall we see if we can replicate the accident? <laughs> there go the uh, SECR engines behaving themselves. I don't know, these things always happen on stream. The points are set wrong, Sammy, are they? Uh-oh. I don't think they are. I'll check. No, no, they're all right. To be honest, these it wasn't these points that did it. It came off the track long before the uh, before it reached the points. It just uh, just seemed to be the points that finished it off. Right. Hey, it, well, it hasn't come off yet. I'm looking. Hey, I think we're going to get it. I think we're going to get our one lap without a derailment. Let's see. I'm just going to stop the uh, the SECR engines because they've gotten round to the front of the room now. All right. Well, I think we've gotten away with it. At least there's one more curve and then we will have gotten away with it. So I'm not going to say anything until that's happened. <laughs> hmm, very annoying. Well, we got 50% uh, of it done properly. One lap did, did derail and the other lap didn't. So I guess that's not too bad overall. There we go. Went a little bit faster on this second lap. So I don't know whether that would make a difference or not, but uh, I guess it did. All right, so there we go. Thank you very much, everybody, for those. And uh, once again, thank you for the support with the requests. So, yeah, that is very cool. All right, so it's your very last chance to enter for the competition. It is that time where I'm going to be closing it very, very shortly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break. I'm going to get my Super Chats up, and I'm going to write them all on these pieces of paper, and I'm going to get them into the hat for want of a better term, there we go, into this monstrous train. We've already got all the names from uh, previous entrants. Whoops, there we go, you can see them all in there, if you can. <laughs> There's absolutely loads, by the way. Thank you to everybody who has donated. Uh, so, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes. I apologise if this one takes a while, and if I've got time, I might uh, start setting up the next lot of requests as well. Uh, so, take care of yourselves, go and get some refreshments if you like, and uh, we'll take something for your nerves if you like. And then when we come back, I will draw the winners. Um, but uh, either way, thank you to everybody that's entered. I will get this underway. And then at long last, we will find out who's going to be winning Old Brisket here. 
and also who's going to be winning the shunter's truck from the great western so i'll be right back oh train fan 28 just got in there with one last entry uh, if anybody wants to do a sneaky entry during the break i will still add you in but uh, after that it really will have to be the end and there we go there's train fan 28 all right folks i will see you in just a second don't go anywhere and uh, i will be back as shortly as i possibly can all right cheers folks <laughs> All right, folks, we're almost there. I'm just going to grab uh, Train Dude 156. Was it Train Dude 156? It doesn't matter. I don't know who it is. Let me just refresh this. Uh, I'd literally just finished and I was about to press the button to come back and then I spotted that one come through. Yeah, it was 456. Okay, folks, well, that is going to be it now. I'm going to have to close the entries now, so no more entries. And I'm also going to have to cut off the requests now because uh, I don't want to miss anybody out. So, whoa. I don't know why I'm going to put the lid on. Oh, I do. Yeah, I'm going to put the lid on so that I can uh, give it a good shake and make sure that all the new names that I've just added in uh, all don't rise to the top. Oh, and James Smith Studios. Go on, then. Just because I'm going to be nice, I'll put James Smith in there as well. I'll put James S, and because it's in my writing and not typed, I'll know that it's from today, so I'll know who it is. You got there just in time. You got there just in time. All right, so... While I'm shaking this, there we go, yep, I got you in, uh, because obviously I don't think it would have come through, the fact that I was closing the uh, the entries, but there we go, that's it. So, to everybody that's entered, thank you so, so much, thank you for the support, I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm sorry that you all can't win, if I had my way, I would pay so that you all had a prize. I mean, I guess it would defeat the object of uh, the whole Super Chat thing, but uh, if I could, the point is I, I would let you all have a prize, but uh, there can only be, well, two winners today. At least I've done that, I've, uh, I've tried to give a couple of winners this time, and I might do that every time i might have multiple different prizes because i think it's nice if more than one people to, uh, can win and then i guess uh, you've got a higher chance of winning too haven't you it kind of doubles your chance of winning if i've got two prizes okay so what will we do first well i'm considering bullman the first prize right so that's uh, probably going to be the first one out and then the runner-up can be the shunter's truck so first name that comes out wins bullman and the second name that comes out wins the shunter's truck now then, once I've done that, I'll give the instructions on how to get in touch and how to claim the prize. Okay, the lid's coming off. There we go. Now, there we are. Are you all satisfied that the names are in there? Let's show a close-up, just so that you can uh, see. They're all folded in half, so you won't be able to read them. And I'm being careful not to tip these over. There we go. <laughs> so there we are. They're all in there. Uh, blimey, there's a lot of people in there. Okay, are you ready then? It's the big moment. So this one is for Brisket and his certificate. Make sure, right, I shouldn't look though, should I? Because then people say you've cheated. So, there we go. Sir AJ Finley. So I changed my mind to Sir AJ, fin AJ Finley Jr. Oh, okay. Yes, that's right. Well, I'm glad you're a sir. I'm glad that you're a sir. Either way, I've got a name and it's come unfolded. Right, who is it? It is Colin Wikes. There we go, Colin. Let me show the name. Just so that you got it. Now, I'm glad that Colin's won that because he's been a massive support to the channel. So there you go, Colin. There is your name. It came out of the train. So you are the lucky new owner of a giant cow on a low Mac called Brisket. Well, I hope you're pleased with that. <laughs> and again, Colin, thank you very much for all your support. Uh, yes, I, at least it's somebody I, I've, I've talked to before. That's quite cool. Uh, although, actually, I can't think of anybody that's in here that I haven't talked to on some occasion, uh, either on stream or via email or comments or something like that. Okay, let's do another one then. So this is for the Hornby Shunter's truck. I'm almost envious. I would be if I haven't already got one. Right, let's get one. All right, here it is. I hope it's not Colin again because he's, uh, he's entered more than once. It is Danny Scott. There we go. Let's show you. It is Danny Scott. There we go. So get in touch folks i will tell you how to get in touch in fact but uh, first of all to everybody that hasn't won i am sorry about that uh, as i say uh, it must be awful not to win uh, but there's going to be more competitions i will do at least two more competitions before the end of the year so uh, don't worry if you didn't win um, i will certainly be giving you more opportunities to win some cool stuff and i'm thinking next time a loco what do you reckon so start emailing me with uh, suggestions uh, of locos you'd like to own and i might think about doing a loco next time okay so to danny scott and to colin uh, this is what you have to do. You have to contact me before Tuesday, so if you can see this, uh, make sure you get in touch. What you need to do is comment below, not in the chat, but actually below the video in the comment section, and let me know the first five letters of your email address, right? 
then send me an email to samstrains at outlook.com. That's in the description if you want it. And include your address and I'll post it to you. Now, this way I will know that it's you when you email me, so I'll know it's not an imposter. And this way also it means you're not having to include your address in the comment section, because obviously that would be a privacy nightmare. And you don't want to be posting your, uh, your details publicly online. So there we go. Bullman, how about that? You're going to uh, Colin's house. <laughs> how about that? I'm sure Colin is going to take a lot of good care of him. Anyway, so that's the competition. Thank you all very, very much for joining the competition. Thank you to everybody who supported me during it. And again, a massive, massive thank you for helping me keep this channel alive. It really does mean a lot. So with that then, we're going to get on to the next few requests. And uh, because they were quite easy, I was able to reuse much of the rolling stock. I did manage to squeeze those in during the break. So William Town wanted to see the Castle Class with some Great Western and BR coaches. So you've got the, the huge honor of seeing the Wren Castle Class run uh, because my, my Hornby Castle Class Yes, well, one of them anyway, not the Hogwarts Express, but the actual Hornby Castle class, Earl of St. Germans that I've got, is DCC fitted. And so rather than set up the DCC controller, I thought I would do that. But as requested, you've got the Great Western and the BR coaches behind her, and you'll see those better when they run. Now, Rob Arnold, again, I'm really sorry, Rob, that your birthday was spoilt by staff not turning up and whatnot. But uh, hopefully this will be a little bit better. So you've got the Tornado there in the BR Blue and uh, some first-class coaches. Now, Pullmans, are they first-class coaches? I hope so. Well, she's got Pullmans anyway, so you can't get any posher than that. There we go, Rob. You've got something even posher than you would have had if you got on the real thing. There we go. And uh, also Custard uh, Time Lord. There we go, yeah. Custard Time Lord wanted to see the BR Black Crab with the Q1 double heading. And uh, I've put a good strain behind it. In fact, it's the... Uh, oh, no. I've made a fatal error. I forgot all about the problem with the bread vans. I should have taken them off and thrown them away. But uh, no, we've still got them on. So, oh no. Well, maybe they'll be okay. They got round last time. So we'll try it. We'll try it. There goes the castle class. Let's start that one off. Man, I tell you what, this Wren castle class is the heaviest, most powerful steam loco you will ever see. The whole thing is made of metal and it weighs a ton. And there's the tornado for Rob. Oh. Sorry, Rob, I think your birthday's ruined again because the tender's just derailed. <laughs> I'll tell you what, poor old Tornado is cursed, isn't she, obviously. Right, let's fix this. There we go. It must have been me. As I say, I was rushing madly, so it's my fault entirely. But there we go. Hopefully there isn't an issue with the tender there. Hopefully not. <laughs> I suppose you never know, do you? But uh, no, I don't think there is. Right, so I'm going to keep one eye if it doesn't hurt too much to go boss-eyed on those uh, bread vans to make sure nothing comes off. Uh, I love the look of this uh, tornado, although it has slowed down quite drastically, hasn't it? I'll have to keep an eye on that, to keep my other eye on that. <laughs> it's all right, I think it's only on Gordon's Hill. It ought to speed up when it gets to the other side. Right, let's watch those bread vans. I think when they did derail, it had happened before this point on the track, so I think we're okay. Hello, better do my wave. There we go. Yeah, I think we're okay. Let's have a look. We have the uh, the Wren Castle about to appear in shot, and we have the double header about to appear at the same time too. There we go. So there we go. Hope you like those. Sam, are you thinking of going to any steam railways anytime soon? Uh, possibly, possibly. Um, I wouldn't mind going down to Butterley again, and I, I might go to the Great Central again. Um, one's near me, but also if I go on holiday in the summer, uh, I might go and see a few others. It would be nice to. Right, where's Tornado got to? She hasn't got stuck, has she? Where is she? Ah, she has got stuck. Oh, dear. Tornado is definitely fainted, uh, fated. Come on, this is for Rob's birthday. You can't cock it up. I wonder if it needs a little bit more juice. I think so. I can't remember if that one's still DCC fitted or not. I think it might be. Because I did go through a phase of taking out the decoders on some models. Um, but no, I don't think I did with that one. But yeah, that would explain the cutting out, wouldn't it? Those Hornby Tornadoes are not really ideal for DCC because they, uh, they've only got ten, uh, loco pickups and no tender pickups. And uh, they, do half, they don't half tend to cut out for whatever reason. Well, for that reason. So it's unfortunate. But there we go, Rob. Your birthday express is finally running properly. <laughs> or... I shouldn't say that really until we know for sure, but uh, yeah, it seems better. I've no custard. I've never been to the Swanage Railway. It does, it does, it does look good though. I've seen lots of pictures of it. 
Dance in Turtle 96, yes, you can have a shout out. There we go. Tom May, oh no, not another derailment. No, it wasn't a derailment. Technically speaking, it wasn't a derailment. It was just a, a cutout. Do a live stream on the track, please. You mean a camera? Unfortunately, I can't do that because uh, I'd need it to be wireless. And I don't have any way of wirelessly capturing uh, footage from the track. But uh, that's a good idea. I wish I could. Oi, Sam, don't you swear? I didn't swear. Well, I never swear. Eason's Train says, Sam, I hope you heard your shout out earlier, Eason. I hope you did. I don't remember the most funniest Thomas episode, says Kirby Kirby. Mm, no, neither do I. And apparently Swanage is lovely. You really must go. Well, as I say, I've, I've seen lots of uh, photos from Swanage and uh, it certainly does look like a great railway. In fact, they all do. I can't think of any nasty heritage railways. Not really. Right, Tornado seems to be stopped again. <laughs> I stopped her and tried to bring her backwards, but she seems to have cut out again. So let me just give her a little tug. Come on, Tornado. You know you want to. That's better. Yeah, I reckon it must still be chipped. And also, I think it might have a slightly faulty motor in it as well. But I've got loads and loads of the motors that go in these, so uh, I can swap it now whenever I want to. And then we have the Rencastle. Better late than never. Come on, Rencastle. Never sounds very healthy, does it? But uh, as far as I know, it is healthy. In fact, this one, funnily enough, only got serviced, I think, last month. So I know she's definitely in uh, good working order because she was checked over not too long ago. Uh, but no, she, uh, to be fair, she did run faultlessly then. I can't fault the way she's just run. So that was great. Mm. So thank you again for those. Those were very, very good. I'm going to reload my Super Chats now and uh, just uh, thank everybody else that's been in there and if there are some more requests which there might be i can't remember whether or not there was um then we'll get to that so where do we get to well i'll tell you what we'll do is i will just get the next request now and then at the end we'll go through and thank everybody and make sure that uh, i didn't miss anybody out for a shout out okay so yes so william town i got yours that should be okay uh, gareth wait i'll tell you what then I hope I haven't missed anybody. I'm just going to go through and make sure, because obviously this is the last one normally after the stream. I'll go through and make sure, and if, I'd, if I had, heaven forbid, missed anybody, I'd do it the next week. But, of course, there isn't going to be a stream next week, so I have to be very, very careful. Not that I've missed anybody. No, I haven't. So I think we're good. I think we're good. So it was William Town. So we want us to... No, we've done William Town, sorry. So it was Gareth. Wait. So the P-Class... But he wants the grey P class this time, not the green one. So we'll get that. Oh, and the N7. So I like that. So that's two grey locos with a mix of wagons and coaches. Yep, we can do that. And coaches. I'll remember that. And uh, I think I... Yes, I answered all your questions. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. Marcus McDonald. I think I did miss this one. Right. So what did he say? He says, great stream. Can you please run... Oh. Uh, One Piece Crazy Train. Hi there. Greetings from Las Vegas in the USA. Blimey, that's very cool. I'd love to go to Las Vegas. Well, greetings to you too, and thank you very much for the super chat and the donation. That's very, very kind of you. And uh, yeah, it's very, very cool uh, to hear from someone from Las Vegas, Nevada. Very cool. I watched that movie, Las Vegas, the other week. It was on TV. It's quite funny. Hmm. Okay, so, right, let's get to this. Let's not get sidetracked. So, it's a Lord Nelson. Always giving me a choice. Or... An unrebuilt West Country Light Pacific. Ooh, I tell you what, you know what it's got to be then, don't you? It's got to be the Light Pacific. Oh, yes. And the Southern Coaches, that means I can get the Southern Coaches out again. Oh, I can't wait for that. Okay, we've got two. There's another one we need. Okay. Oh, Train Dude 456. And also, Lee Kerwin. I don't know if I gave you a shout-out or not, but there we go. And uh, Sir AJ Finley Jr. I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. Right, so Train Dude 456. Four, five, six. I uh, wanted to see the LNER V3. Ooh, blimey. Crikey. I don't think that's ever been requested in a live stream before. No, I don't think it ever has. And an IVAT 262. Ooh, I don't think I've got an IVAT 262. I used to, but it busted, unfortunately. Okay. So, he did specify 262. So, shall we go and have a look and see if I can find a 262? Yes, I think we'll try. Right. Anybody think of any 262s? I would say the Large Prairie, but that's very, very different to the eye, that, isn't it? So I'm trying to think of a tank engine that is a 262 and that's uh, similar to the IVAT. Hmm. This is tricky. This is putting me on the spot, isn't it? Uh, 
Hmm. Ah. Well, what about the uh, the small prairie? What about the four five seven five? Again, that's not really very much like an IVAT, is it? But I suppose it's the closest we've got. Sorry, there we go. What about that? Will that do? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the uh, my 2MT, as so many old Backman models do, it completely failed. Uh, the Basically, the, um, the wheels are made of discs, as they often are. And onto those discs, the, spoke, the plastic spokes are stuck on. And the spokes warp over time, and they peel away from the front of the wheels. Now, with the IVAT 2MT, I tried, very, I tried my hardest uh, to get them to stick back on. Uh, but unfortunately, they were warped, so they couldn't. They, they wouldn't be stuck back on. Uh, so basically, um, the center of the wheels was sticking out so much that it was catching on the, uh, the coupling rods and things, uh, which basically jammed it up, and I think the motor burnt out in the end because of it. So uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a bitter end, unfortunately. Um, and I know there is a more modern Backman 2MT out there. Um, well, I think it's the same. I think it's got the same body, I guess. So it's basically the same model, but it's got an all-new retooled chassis on it, which uh, looks a lot better. But uh, yeah, they're they're quite expensive, you know, given how old the model is. So I've never really gone into it, really. But uh, if there's a sale on Hattons or somewhere else, I might uh, pick one up. But uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I, d I don't like to <laughs> to disappoint with the request. But obviously, if I if I really don't have a a loco, I can't show it. Although I do still have the body, but uh, that's not much good, is it? <laughs> so, so what was it? So we wanted to see. Uh, now, who was it with the coaches? Yeah, okay. So right. So we want the P class and the N7 with the wagons and coaches. So what we'll do is, we'll keep the ocean wagons. Blimey, the ocean wagons will have made it to the end of a whole episode. <laughs> Crikey, I'm running out of places to put these locos. I don't mind putting the rolling stock on the carpet, but I don't like putting the locos down on the carpet, so I'll try and find somewhere uh, a little bit more dust-free for those to go. So, yes, the ocean wagons can stay. I'm going to take off the bread wagons because I don't want to push my luck. I think I've pushed my luck more than enough with those, so they can uh, be retired for the day. And, uh, yes, uh, it was... Who was it now? It was Gareth Waite, I think it was. Um, Yes, who wanted to see the wagons and coaches, so we'll put some coaches on. Uh, yep, yeah, I've got some of these uh, chocolate and cream coaches, so they can go on there. There we are, that one's a break. And then the two grey engines, that's going to be great. Okay, so there we go. I mean, the N7 is a very, very, very powerful engine, so I'm sure it would handle that on its own, but with the help of the P-Class, it should be absolutely fine, so... Yes, let's try that now. Which one at the front? What do you reckon? Uh, well, let's put the P-Class at the front, just to uh, be a bit different, shall we? Because I think that is the faster of the two models anyway. So yeah, is this the first time I've ever done a double header with the N7? I think so. I don't think I've ever had the N7 requested. Um, so that's cool. I think that's a good first. I'm sure they will manage, but let's just test it to make sure. Yeah, that's definitely fine. And actually, the speeds look very well matched, so that's pretty good. So that's that one. Then it was Mark, uh, Marcus McDonald that wanted to see the Light Pacific. Oh, I can, I can gladly do that. I do love the Light Pacifics. So, Camelford. There we go. I like Camelford. I always pick Camelford for the request because the tender is connected permanently. So if I pick Camelford, it means I haven't got to go to my uh, tender drawer. I mean, I don't mind going to the tender drawer, but uh, obviously... It just makes things a bit quicker for you guys, I'm not having to wait while I go and search for a certain tender. And Southern Coaches, all right, ah, my best coaches. Let's get the, uh, the, the uh, two grey engines out of the way. As you could see though, the two shades of grey are very, very different on those two engines, but uh, they still look good together, I think. Going a bit slowly though, come on, get out of the way. Because I know I'd knock all this off if I started uh, putting these coaches on while they were still in the way. So there we go, I can start putting these on now. There we are. Stop the uh, P-Class and the N7, just for the time being, <laughs> because if they derail while I'm not watching them, um, it will be uh, all very embarrassing. I suppose entertaining too, though, so, yeah, I'd rather it not happen all the same. <laughs> all right. So these Southern Coaches have had a good run today as well, haven't they? That's uh, two people asked for them. I can see why. They're a lot nicer than most of the coaches I've got. There we go. There you go, Camelford. I reckon this is your first time with these Southern Coaches. 
he says, speaking to his engines again. Yes, I'm a weirdo, I know. Okay, uh, they're out of the way. And finally then, it was uh, Train Dude 456 wanted to see the V3. Yes, and the 262, which we'll have to swap out with the... Uh, with the Great Western one, although I suppose they do match at least, don't they? They'll, they'll match because they're both green. Right, the V2. I don't remember the last time I ran the V2 in a video. V2. Ah, there we go. Oh, V3, in fact. Was it the V3? Hey, I'm getting confused now. V2 is different to the V3. Ah, yes. I was thinking of this. But that's not the V3, is it? That's the V2. Ah, you see, I nearly messed that request up entirely then. So I see where he's going now. He wants two uh, tank engines. Ah, well, we can do that. We can do that. Okay, so it's the V3 we want. Yes, that's the tank engine. Ooh, I tell you, that was close. That was close. Was there any particular rolling stock you had in mind? I don't think there was. No, nothing in particular. All right, well, we'll put these on then. I tell you what, though. Well, since the V3's made an appearance on the channel, so either way, it's pretty good. But even longer, V2 was on. So we'll have to request that uh, V2 one day. <laughs> Just again. Um, okay. And then the small prairie. Or smaller prairie. There we are. So I'm sorry it's not the IVAT. But uh, I suppose it's the uh, it's a sort of similar size at least, isn't it? All right. Start the others up as well. And yes, folks, thank you, thank you. Right. Let's see go. There we are. So the ocean wagons have survived for more or less the entire episode. V2 rocket. <laughs> no, not quite. Oh, can anyone recommend any southern locos, says Tom May. Blimey, now you're asking. Well, there's very few southern locos I can't recommend. We'll put it that way. I do love them. Uh, the Q1's very good. The Backman C-Class is very good. Um, well, obviously, the old West Country class we've got running there is very good. Oh, I don't know, Terriers, you can get Southern Terriers, the uh, P-Class from Hattons, they, they look good. Uh, they, have they done a Southern version of those? I assume so. If not, apologies. But uh, I think so. And there we go, look at that, that's a good double header. It does look good together. With the Pullman coaches, so uh, we've got Rob's birthday train carrying on. <laughs> maybe it didn't quite take, maybe the uh, tornado broke down before we got to his station. So we're okay. Uh, oh, One Piece Crazy Train. Oh, hello again. Can you run the Airfix Jupiter 440 with box fans and the 119 if you have it for the Union Pacific's 150th anniversary on May the 10th? I'm headed out there to see 4014 Big Boy and 844. Now, unfortunately, I don't have either of those, I don't think. Um, what is 119? No, I don't think I do. I'll just double check 119. But unfortunately, I did used to have Jupiter. But uh, it broke down, unfortunately, so I don't have it anymore. Uh, but uh, just to uh, honour the fact that you've sent a very generous donation, and thank you for that, by the way, uh, I will run a 440 for you. How about that? <laughs> so with that, let's bring these to a stop, and we'll get to the last lot. Okay. So we'll back up the N7 and the P-Class double header, which is a great idea, by the way. I love that. We'll have one last look at that. There's Camelford. There we go. So we basically got away without very many derailments. We got one or two with those bread bands, but apart from that, it was okay. Come on, back up. They are quite a slow pair, aren't they? I don't want to blast them, though, because if, I, if they suddenly accelerate, these uh, ocean wagons might come off and make me look very silly. So I don't want that. There we go. Bring those to a stop. Very nice. And uh, then once the, uh, the double header, tank engine double header comes in, I'll uh, double check how many more requests I've got to go. But yeah, that will have to, I won't be able to take any more requests after this anyway. Um, otherwise, we'll never get away. But uh, again, I will do the ones that have come in. I, I, I won't do any more, but uh, I will do that one just because it was uh, very generous. Or I'll do a 440. Okay, folks, we know we've got to run a 440. I don't have Jupiter, so it'll have to be a different one. So in the chat, note down the first 440 you can think of that you know I've got. And the first one I see is the one I will put on. So there we go. That's a little challenge for you. All right, ba -ba -ba. so James Smith Studios, I will do yours for you. James Smith, Smokey Joe with ocean wagons. So the ocean wagons are going to survive again, although Smokey Joe might struggle with those. 
And then One Piece Crazy Train. Uh, yeah, we'll do the 4-4-0 for you. Apologies, I can't do Jupiter, but uh, just so that I, I can say I've done something for you, we will do uh, some 4-4-0. So let's have a look. The first one I have seen is... I haven't seen any come through yet. Uh, Lewis Hughes, The Compound. All right, we will do that then. So you get in the compound. I guess that's sort of American looking. I guess I should have really done the American 440 that I've got, but uh, no, that's that's okay. I will do the compound. I do like the compound, as you probably know. All right. So first of all, then we want the uh, we want old Smokey Joe with the ocean wagons. This is going to be a real challenge for Smokey Joe because there's uh, mind you, it's not the whole ocean of ocean wagons. Uh, but there's still quite a lot, and as I say, they're quite old wagons, so there's a lot of drag behind them. Uh, so whether or not Smokey Joe will manage them, I don't know, but hey, we're going to find out. So, Smokey Joe. It's been a while since I've shown Smokey Joe. I bet he's not run since his stream. I'll have to do an 0 video at some point, and uh, he can take pride of place in that. How about that? Okay. Smoky Joe, there you go. Right, well, we'll give that a try in a second and see how that goes. And then for the time being, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll do the unthinkable and run uh, the compound with the Southern Coaches. How about that? Just because I like them so much. And uh, all the LMS fans can, uh, <laughs> can show me their disgust at seeing a 4 4 from the LMS. Hauling a rake of Southern Coaches. But uh, I'm sure it will look very nice. The Southern Coaches tend to look nice with anything, don't they? Okay. So there we are. So we'll just pretend this is Jupiter. <laughs> but yeah, I did, I did used to have Jupiter, but unfortunately its, uh, it's motor burnt out and uh, I wasn't able to get a replacement at the time. So I scrapped it for parts. Oh, looks like Smokey Joe's managed it, but we'll dash over to Gordon's Hill and uh, see if it can get up there all right. That's going to be the test. Right, what do you reckon, folks? Let me know in the chat. Or will he fail? I'm not 100% sure. All right. See you, ugly duck man. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. Right. Come on, Smokey. Show us what you can do. Where is he? Oh, I thought I thought one of the cameras had frozen. Then. Oh no, Smokey. Come on. That was so close. All right. The finger of God. That sounds a bit uh, dubious, doesn't it? <laughs> the finger of God has helped Smokey along. Was it enough? No. Okay, finger of God. <laughs> Such blasphemy. Come on, honestly. Right, I think it's just going to be a lap for Smokey, though, because he's not having too much of a good time with these ocean wagons. Come on, it's not that bad, Smokey. Yeah, really, it's not that bad. Go on. That's it. There we go, he's got there. Right, let's see if the Midland compound is... Uh, yes, the Midland's doing a bit better. There we are. <laughs> Of course, it's a much heavier loco than Midland, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to haul a lot better. But there we go. All seems to be well, although we'll make sure Smokey doesn't have another lap, because uh, he'll struggle. But there we go. At least it's proof that the, uh, the room really does slope, as I've been saying. Gordon's Hill is definitely a thing. I don't know why. It wasn't designed to be a slope. But uh, it is. It is for some reason. So there we go. Yes, I, I think I can. Uh, I think I ought to have given Smokey Joe a back engine. That's right, says uh, Jared Barton. Yes, yes, he could have done with that, but uh, no, he did it solo, and he's done all right. It was a bit embarrassing for a second, but uh, yep, he's all right. He's not done too bad. Right, let's bring these to a stop. Ah, oh, look, they're arriving at the at the final moment. There we go. That is it. That is the final two requests of the entire series. So thank you to everybody, especially those folks that have only just had their requests done, but thank you to everybody that has requested during the series. And I'm going to go through right now and just thank everybody that has been so kind in donating today. There's been absolutely loads, so a huge, huge thank you. Either way, though, whether you donated or not, thank you for watching. That's, uh, that's another thing. Whether you donated or not, it doesn't much matter, you know. Um, if you were here and watching, I appreciate it. So let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so here we go with the master list. Listen out for your shout outs. So, Shining Time for AZ Rail, The Ugly Duck Man, Paul S, Jason Briggs, or Biggs, I'm sorry, not Briggs, William Hawks, Milo McQuillan, William Town, Northern Soul Express, Jack 100, Daniel S, Unknown User 636, Uni Kit Kat, Rob Arnold, Dalton Dunn, Lego Master 365, Custard Time Lord, William Town, Gareth Waite, uh, Milo McQuillan, Charles Curtis, The Duke of Ra Rawsome, <laughs> I do love that name. Trainfan28, Jason Biggs again, Colin Wikes again, 
um, Marcus McDonald, Lee Kerwin, Train Dude 456, James Smith Studio, Sir AJ Finley Jr. Nice to meet you again, sir. And One Piece Crazy Train. Thank you all very, very much. And don't forget, uh, old Danny Scott and Colin Wikes, get in touch with me and uh, I will send you your prizes in the post. Uh, post haste. There we go. For now, though, folks, that is going to be it for this series of Sam's Trains Live. Uh, as I say, keep an eye on my uh, social media and things for the next series. Normally, what I do is I do sort of one a month over the summer. So it won't be too long to wait, I hope. And as I say, I might be giving away a loco next time. I might be. I haven't got any plans yet, but that's, that's the idea. Okay then, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. We have done some awfully strange things this series, especially last week, but there's been some great requests. Um, I've been showing photos, there's been Instagram, I've done a review. Man, there's been a lot over this series, but I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, it was a lot of fun for me. Uh, it's been great to meet and talk to all of the folks that have been in the chat. Uh, as I say, I'm slightly gutted that it's ended, and I'm all going to miss you next week. Definitely, I'm going to miss you all next week. Oh, s and uh, 7 f 88 Nice to see you there. He says, ha. Don't know what he's laughing at. Maybe it might fail. I don't know. All right, folks. Well, thank you all very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you all very, very soon. I'm not too sure when the next one will be, Adam, but uh, you will know about it if you uh, sort of follow me on uh, Facebook and Twitter and things. All right, well, thank you for watching, folks. I will get off now, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Oh, I better give you some hints on life for next week's videos. So Wednesday, I'm going to be doing another Model Railway news. There's some cool stuff to talk about this time, so I hope you like that. And then on Saturday, I'll have a tank engine a running session. Tank engine running session. There's a certain theme, but I'm not going to tell you what that theme is. So feel free to guess down in the comments if you'd like. And uh, Callum says bread. What do you mean, Callum? What do you mean bread? I've never mentioned bread before. At least... Not today. All right, folks. You all take care. Harry Underhill, Chris Kittick, Neil Golding, Eshan's Trains, uh, Red Leader, 895, Violet Parr. Thank you all very, very much. Yes, it has been fun at AZ Rail. I've, I've enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you soon. All right. Take care, folks. Have a really good week, and I will see you very soon. All right. Cheers, everybody. <music> Hey folks, thank you all very, very much for joining me for another series of Sam Strains Live. That is the end of this series, but I am hoping to come back pretty soon and do another series for you. So if you'd like to find out when that will be, keep an eye on my Facebook pages, my Twitter pages and that sort of thing, and you should be able to find out when the next series is. But for now, once again, thank you all very much for your support, and I will see you all with some normal videos coming pretty soon. Alright, cheers everybody. Cheers everybody.